entering. Repeat. All targets are not Repeat. Cars number 46 and 93 proceed to the corner of the way. Our police are coming here. We are receiving this message. Yeah. When Captain Noble got He's in car 426. Okay, call him. 426, 426, over. For you, Inspector. Yeah, Hoffman. What's up? Yeah, you got all of them? Nice going. Congratulations, Kraut. Yeah? Uh-huh. Yeah. I'll be back in an hour. So long. Here. Yeah. Well, Wallace, I hope I don't have to make this trip with you again. Maybe this time you'll be smart. Almost there. I remember you had a real nice house, Wallace. Your rent there was exactly double of my salary. Thanks for the lift. Anytime. Come in. Come in, Steve. Come in. Steve. You're looking fine. Take your coat off and sit down. I won't be staying long. How about a drink? What will you have, huh? I seem to have lost the habit. <laughs> Sorry to have pulled you away, but I have been waiting a long time, too. I've got a job that only you can do. Listen, Miller. A few hours ago, I was still in prison. Right now, I'm not looking for a job. I think this is important. Very important. Number one, 
number two. Number three. Now listen carefully. You must knock out this alarm system. It's called Big Ben. If it goes off, the whole city can hear it. And here, in this room, there's a safe with over a million dollars in it, in cash. Now, I know you can handle this safe, Steve. But Big Ben is the problem. The buzzing of a fly, a footstep, a deep breath is enough to trip the alarm. You're trapped inside with no way out. Who gets hurt? The International Insurance Company. Right here in Hamburg. Nobody has ever thought of it before. And I'm not thinking about it either. Pity. All this work for nothing. And I was sure it would appeal to you uh, as an artist. Thanks for showing me your toys. Listen, Miller, let's get one thing straight. When I worked on my own, everything went fine. My first job with you, and I ended up three years in jail. Get somebody else. Wait, Steve. No one else can do it. More than a million dollars. Think about it. This is for you. I owe it to you. Go ahead. Take it. I never forget. were the days. They will be better. Anna, you're even more beautiful now. Oh, Steve, I'm so glad you're back. You still smoke too much.
such a gloomy place. It isn't gloomy anymore. Eh, yeah, we won't be living here long. What did Miller want? A job. A job. A job I think is impossible to do. Open safe 66. Open safe 66. Jawohl, Herr Schengmann. Es wird sofort ausgeführt. Freilich, in diesem Moment. Ja, das ist jetzt da. Danke. Ja, ja, ja. Danke. Das geht. gotten the wrong floor. Where do you want to go? Speak. I can hear you clearly. Mr. Schmidt's office? Uh, I have an appointment. Mr. Schmidt's office is downstairs on the second floor. 214. You are on the top floor. Please retrace your steps and you'll find the escalator just 10 yards back. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Steve, wait up. Miller wants to talk to you again. We got nothing to talk about. Boy, you must have left your guts in prison. Say that again. I'm just kidding. Knock it off, you son of a bitch. Look, Miller wants to see you now. Come on, get in. No, thanks. Excuse me, what did you say? I said when I'm finished, you get through. No, I don't think that's quite what you Knock said. Knock it off, you son of a bitch. That's what you said.
You don't seem to like each other. Hmm. Want a lift? Sure. Sorry, I was delayed. I had a few things to do. Hello. Oh, Anna? My friend Mark. Would you like to see the circus? I'll give you a free ticket. What do you say? Come on, any night you want. You pick the night. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, ask for the trapeze guy, Marco. out of jail and already asking for trouble. How much? You don't want that. I said, how much? Steve, you're making a big mistake. Think about Anna. Here, 300. Here's all your old equipment. Are you taking it with you? No, just this bag. Thanks, Harry. Forget it. I'll call you when I need the stuff. I know it's not easy to start over again after three years in prison. It's nice and peaceful here in Travamund. Think about it. Again. I thought it was pretty good. Okay. All right, one more time. Good. What are you doing? Hey, come on, quit messing around. Hey, Marco, will you get back up here? We've got a show to do in a half an hour. Come on. I'm coming. Are you okay? I'm ready. Up. Okay, let's do it right this time. Marco! Where the hell are you? Marco, come back here! lunch about this time. Get in. Hey, oh, very good. Let me try. Now you try, huh? OK. 
Okay? Just to the right of the center pin. And not too hard. Okay? You can't do that. Oh, now look where you are. Oh, what are you talking no, about? No, no, you're supposed to be here. I oh, was there. You... I had my you foot. Every time. I didn't. I oh, tell you, your foot please. has got to be behind the line. <laughs> it was. Anna, suppose I go back to prison. Wait for me a second time. Are you joking? Hey, come on. Oh. Steve, why would you come back? I was joking. Oh. I don't think it's funny. Like you cook. It's all a matter of chance. Hey! That was a good shot. Hi, Marco. Here's your chance to get a free ticket to the circus. Can yeah. I try? Go ahead. Uh, I'll keep score. You bowl as good as you fight? Better, I hope. <laughs> Good. A man like you should be working with a man like me. You know, our big friend came to see me at the circus. Everything okay? Well, I think I made him change his mind. <laughs> Good boy. You didn't come to see me at the circus. Hmm? Why? My last performance. Well... Your turn. Hey, don't cheat me. I had a strike. Steve, why did you say that? I was joking. All right, I'll tell him, Eric. Goodbye. Who was it? Eric. He said the stuff is on its way. <clears throat> what else did he say? Nothing. Nothing else. Well, I've got more work to do. So don't interrupt me for at least another hour, huh?
And you can sleep here. Not bad. Well, not as nice as your suite at the Waldorf, but uh, you'll be comfortable. And if all goes well, you won't be here long. And if all doesn't go well? Then we definitely won't be here. Hello. Hello. The records? Mm-hmm. Ah, good. You got them. Oh, Marco will be moving in with us. He is? given you anything to do. Do you really think I'd settle for us living in this rat hole? Prison wasn't much worse. You've been lying to me all the time. Now, don't you worry, Anna. Next time, no mistakes. Steve. For me, there will not be any next time. Just this once. The last one. This one will fix us up for good. You know that job Miller wanted me to do? I can do it. But this time, I do it on my own. Anna, inside that safe, there's more Stop money. It. I don't want to know about it. Steve, forget it. Please, forget it. Forget a million dollars for just 18 months in jail? It's pretty good pay. Anna, please, just trust me. Believe me, I know what I'm doing. What about Miller? Miller? He means twice the risk and half the take. That's why I'm going it alone. He'll kill you. He'll kill you, Steve, when he finds out. He won't find out. What's that? Gas. It works much faster. We'll be working at night, right? Never do at night what you can do during the day. At night, everything looks suspicious. Here. I never thought of that. Now, behind these few inches of steel, there's no cement. Nothing but a lock. Now, this is the mechanism. That's what we concentrate on. Pin. Plug. Cylinder. And combination.
I can only give you 120 marks. Nothing more. Impossible. No, thank you. Good morning. I'm looking for Italian wine. That's Italianish wine is often top shelf or there. Yeah. Thanks. Ah, this is what I want. What's here? Hey, punk, I've been looking for you.
won't get away with this. I'll get you! What are you two doing? You've been seeing too many movies. I saw the door was open. I thought there was somebody inside. Yeah, me. What happened to the light? If you don't pay the bill, they cut it off, don't they? Well, you know all about these things. Hook us up. You want me to risk going to jail? I told you, no weapons. No violence. But I never meant to. You work with me. Forget this. Okay. If I breathe, it clicks. But with all that noise, it didn't move at all. What the hell kind of a system is that? Electronic computer. Computer? Big Ben works on the same principle. You see, it's programmed to react to all the noises a thief could make. Footsteps, keys, drills, explosions, even breathing. But when Big Ben hears a plane or a military band, it just couldn't give a damn. Uh-huh. Capisha? No. Ah, forget it. Come on, back to work. I'm not on a trapeze now. This is no show. 
All right, let's see how far you've got. Now I have to make the pins drop. Use your fingers, not your eyes. Here's the mechanism. One, two, three, seven notches. Plug. Found it. Lift it and turn the cylinder with one hand. But if I lift the plug, I can't. Look, Mark, you lift this plug with your little finger and you turn the cylinder with your thumb. How many thumbs you got? Marco, Marco, you're forcing it. You're forcing it, Marco. You... Look, Steve, you made a mistake picking me. Maybe if you make a mistake, there's no net under you, so try it again. You're forcing it, Marco. Look, relax. Relax. Look, you're all tensed up. Hey, look. Marco, you, you touch it gently. Like you were touching a woman. Capisce? Ah. Captain? We need two more men on deck. This is the man I want you to take with you, okay? Joe and Joe. Monday morning. That's the deal. Have him here at 6 o'clock sharp. Wait a minute. I... I don't wait a single second. Six sharp. Thank you, Captain. He'll be here. Captain, cargo's loaded. Good. Hold along. Okay. Okay. It's Sunday. Listen, Steve, but I'm not ready yet. You'll be ready. Remember, just like touching a woman, relax. Well, it's all settled for Sunday. Why Sunday? The 15th. More than half the yearly payments are in. There ought to be well over a million in that safe. And then, what do you want me to do? I've arranged it with Eric. You're to stay at his place at Travamunda. To wait. With a million and a half dollars, time passes fast. What are you doing? Hmm? Oh, nothing. Remember, make those phone calls on time, take Marco to the boat, hang out of that money. Just give him his share. You think of everything. Are you nervous? Yes.
Just like we rehearsed it. Good luck. Thanks.
Medley, che cerca di respingere il pallone, ma il pallone termina in calcio d'angolo. Calcio d'angolo per la Germania, sono trascorsi circa 50 secondi dall'inizio del primo tempo. Ecco il calcio d'angolo per essere battuto sulla destra di Benz, la destra di Grossi, il quale ha preso già la rincorsa da parte di Vinari e si è fuggito a destra, recupera la palla, caricato, calcio di punizione che l'arbitro francese ripeta in favore della squadra inglese. Medley prende la rincorsa, fa partire un tiro molto bianco e termina il tiro di Benz, di Benz, tiro di sinistro, si muove un po' impacciato, avendo studiato la Gramoschi che ha inciso di dare la palla ed ecco Benz che scappa dal suo verso di Gramoschi e tocca sul fondo con la sua testa, ma con la testa fa la Benz. The accident department, please. have to call in again in the morning. But I must report my accident immediately. You have all the time in the world to report the accident tomorrow morning. Goodbye. Please, try again tomorrow. Goodbye.
Inspections finished. Everything's okay.
Hans, what's up? Italy scored. That's right. Doesn't matter. The referee disallowed it anyway. Okay.
see Miller's face when he hears what happened to Big Ben. <laughs> right on schedule. Now, if everything goes smoothly with Marco... Steve, couldn't we go away right now? Now, come on. Where would we go? You, you've got a million and a half dollars. The police? The insurance spies? Miller? <laughs> no. The pawn shop's my perfect alibi. Everything okay? Perfect. And you? Anna will give you your share. Don't forget. Pier 7, before 6 o'clock. Good luck. Eric will be waiting for you in Travel Monday. Control car 429. Please proceed to the International Insurance Company. Car four two six. Inspector Hoffman, over. For you, Inspector. Hey. Yeah, Hoffman, dear. Yeah, what's happening, huh? Pawn shop, Bannerstrasse. Pawn shop on Bannerstrasse. Now we got another one. Same old system still works. You didn't take anything, did you? Either you're getting faster, or I'm getting slower. Well, it's only attempted robbery. Article 14 of the German Penal Code. Maximum 18 months. Maybe a little more, in view of your record. You're a funny guy, Wallace. You seem almost amused. Are you so happy to go back to jail? I always think it's best to take these things philosophically. Back, Doc. Yeah? Sie müssen hier etwas sehen. Yes, what? Is that so verdammt wichtig? Aber warum jetzt? Warum jetzt? Ach, Anything I can do to help? No, Wallace. You have already done enough. 
for 18 months. <laughs> for this, they will give you life. If all goes well, who knows? You may get off with 30 years. Tell me, how old are you now, Wallace? Hmm? You and a knife. That's strange. That's not like you. <laughs> you look good behind bars, Wallace. You look right at home. <laughs> Nothing new. Have you searched the house? Yeah. The house is deserted. No chance of returning there. My men are not to the front bureau. My men are not the air front. Police boat 30. Police boat 30. This is police boat 30. Over. <laughs> Get down to the records office and try and dig up a photo of Ana Garcia Gomez, Steve Wallace's wife. Cooper learns fast. Too fast. Capiche? All the money there, Steve. In the bag. I swear, all of it. Don't kill me. Where's Anna? You hear me? What have you done with Anna? Are you crazy? Did you really think I'd wait another two years? Huh? I tried to tell you over and over again, but you wouldn't listen to me. 
You don't listen to anybody. You just do what you want to do. It's not him, Steve. And it's not the money, you know that. The money will be waiting for you. But I won't. I had to run away. I'm not strong enough to, to go through that again. up for life. You're strong enough for that, aren't you? You're strong enough to trap me with a dead guard with his knife sticking in him. You're strong enough for that, aren't you? Steve, I had to do it. Please believe me, there was no other chance. He came in... Ah! I didn't know. I didn't know, Steve. Steve, you must believe me. I didn't know. I wanted to get away. I had to. I can't stand loving you and waiting. Waiting. Please don't. 